Let's see, how is it quick shifting this? Wow, typical Japanese. Yep. Oh, I am loving that Hornet motor. Yeah, this motor, I, I liked it on the Hornet, I like it on this. Yeah, no doubts, if ands, or buts about it, guys. This motor makes, can make or break a bike, and it makes this bike. It made the Hornet, and it's making this one too. Ah, oh, nice. Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today's a beautiful day, because any day one can be out on two wheels is a beautiful day. Yeah, we're on the all new Trans Alp. And it looks like the 1986 Trans Alp that Honda actually originated with back in 1986. Especially if you get the red, white, and blue with gold rims. Liking that color. Oh yeah. I am liking this color though too. This looks good too in, 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 in this dark black color. Uh, I am, hmm. I, I don't know which ones I would take. Uh, also the other color looks good also. So what color I would take, I don't know. Yeah, see them in person. I just saw the red, white, and blue with the gold rims in person up at the at Hunica there. And I'm like, hmm, looked good. <laughs> This looks good too. Now, all new, what did Honda make? Well, first let's take a look at the numbers because the numbers tell you about where things should be in terms of feeling. So let's take a look at the competition chart here and let's see what is first on the list here. I have these, since this is a middleweight, I have these bikes arranged by weight, since weight is very important. But what do you notice there? The Honda, well, it's third on the list. That's pretty good by weight. Also, the engine size, it seems about right in the middle. Uh, also, the power, not bad. Torque, not bad. Also, look at the engine configuration. You're not cool unless you have an inline two. And if you want to deviate from that inline tune, you're getting a Ducati or a Moto Guzzi. Yeah, that's the problem there. Now, uh, let's go to the green side here. Oh, well, before we do, let's look at the price. It's right there. It seemed like Honda wanted to be in this no man's land with the budget and the performance. And they've nailed it. Also, because there's no cruise control. The windscreen is not adjustable two things and not adjustable suspension. It's only adjustable for preload. So it seems like they could have made those options. In my humble opinion, and brought it up a grand and still compete in my humble opinion. So how to make it for an option next year, those three things, and then you will get my thumbs up with this bike. Uh, look at third on the list there, the CO2 emissions. Not bad. The uh, fuel economy, again, tank size is a little small. I would like a little more, but the range, it's right there at the 400 kilometer mark there. And of course, its predecessor, well, we can go all the way back to the XL600 V, which was that uh, original, oh, 1986? No, it's 1987 V2. I said 86 earlier. Now, these are just the numbers though. How do these numbers feel on the street? The engine can make or break a motor. And in this case, it makes this machine. Loving this parallel twin Honda. Man, this is, this is the cat's meow. Nice power delivery, smooth uh, power and torque throughout the rev range. It's just, wow. I'm liking it and I cannot complain yeah it's the Hornet motor yeah but as I said a motor can make or break and it's making this bike love it ah let's try these here we go don't don't oh oh that 17 inch is soaking up those speed bumps wow they cut down all these trees wow all the way up there oh. so oh yeah nice the, those are the <laughs> Nicest speed bumps bar any of the heavyweight adventure bikes, obviously, with the electronic suspension. 
because this this is just preload adjustable this so it's non adjustable for compression and rebound which to me is a should be an option for for this Honda I I would I would take that option more speed bumps although these aren't bad well it's, ooh, nice sound listen to that oh yeah <laughs> And then out. Oh yeah. Nice. Nothing to complain about with this motor and transmission. It is the typical Japanese cassette style. You can use a clutch or not choose to use a clutch. Whatever you feel like. Boom. This powertrain's two thumbs way, way up. Boom, boom. On the Autobahn, this is working just fine with the stock screen. The wind is hitting me right here. All my, my full arms feel it, and just the tips of my eh, shoulders, about right here, right where my backpack comes down. Uh, but uh, I'm surprised. I it is a little noisy. I would probably put an MRA uh, spoiler on the top of this to kick it over a little bit more. Uh, and for this being a non-adjustable screen, it's acceptable. I, I would like at least a two position adjustability so that, you know, on the hot summer days or to take it off road or in town, you can really lower it. But, uh, but it's acceptable. Honda hit the middle ground here and nailed it with this stock standard screen. If you guys were wondering, should you get the taller screen or this one? I would start out with this and then because right now, I'm, I'm not feeling a need to change it on the highway. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Coming up to, what do you guys notice? Non-adjustable Showa, separate function forks. 200 mils of travel there on 310 wavy discs. They were pretty good, oh, but look, two pistons. Hey, what do you mean look? Well, look at the other side there. You can see there's no pistons on the other side there. So those are two pistons, whereas the Hornet is four piston. Also back here, 256 with a one piston this on there. Uh, and also 190 mils of travel back there with the spring there. And only preload adjustable for both the front and the rear. So how is this non-adjustable suspension? non-adjustable for compression and rebound feel on the street now and these twisty roads you can throw this thing over pretty well and it, it, a lot of your 21 inch fronts they flop in this doesn't this has a good lean uh, right over it, it it doesn't do that i'm very surprised because you know you expect that Let, let's be honest you expect that with 21 inch uh, for it to just flop in and this doesn't at any time I can just hmm, lean in and, and it just oh. how, how do you want to do your lean you know that's that's it's basically saying do you want to go fast do you want to go slow and that's nice with a 21 inch front and this suspension and the brake is is good feel good feedback I am very surprised with these two piston Nissans uh, I was expecting a little less or having to give it a little more power because they're two piston instead of four piston but overall yeah I'm loving this ah here we go a truck and here let's let's just slow down let's See, ooh, there we go. The rear brake is good. I am liking that rear brake. Okay, I'll try it again. Yeah, that's good. I, I like the feel, the feedback. Uh, the, the amount of pressure is even very good. That I have to apply. So, between the, the front and the rear brake, two thumbs up, and this non-adjustable suspension. Uh, when I compare it to the other bikes, it, it, it's good. Uh, it, it's good bang for buck. Yeah, we're, we're getting some good stuff here. 
no problem, no question. So two thumbs up for this. Uh, a, a light trail like this is is easy, easy money for this bike. I wouldn't want to do too much more than this, but this is okay. And also standing up, this is pretty nice. Looking, going to the back of this bike, yeah. You have to buy the racks for the side cases and also the top case here. You can, but those are add-ons. You can get all 300 liters for all three. Once you get the two side cases and the top case, the top case is 50 liters. You can get two helmets in those, but you cannot in the side, unless you've got a kid's helmet. Uh, 850 millimeters off the ground. Uh, it does look fairly roomy and it does feel fairly cushy but when you sit on it guys here it feels kind of hard also at 850 mils this suspension once you sit on it it compresses and i'm flat footing this for my height that's pretty good 850 uh, normally on an 850 i'm on the balls of my feet not flat footing it like this so you can see the slight ever so slight bend in my knee there so as far as seat height uh this see see i can pull it and the suspension unloads even more and doesn't unload and doesn't compress back as much so interest is a very light suspension and feel 17 liter tank so filled up this thing of course is the third lightest in this group how does that feel on the street in town this thing is, is soaking up these these uh improvised or there they heard it in my voice these <laughs> sometimes in little villages you don't exactly get great roads uh, and this 21 inch with this suspension is is doing very very well i'm pleasantly surprised and I could do this all day in a little village. Wouldn't want to, but I could on this bike. No problem with this riding stance and position. Uh, everything's squared, really. I'm, I'm loving this riding position. Other than the seat is a little difficult, a little hard. And ah, here, let's play around. Let's go back down to road. Standard, there we go. And let's, because we're going to slow down to 30 here, let's play with the throttle response, the on-off. Let's drop her down to second. There we go. Uh, it's a little, the on-off is a little abrupt, just a little more than there. The off, ooh, then the on. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm nitpicking, guys, though, but, but here, with 15 bikes in this group, you, you have the... The, the fun or the luxury of nitpicking and and this is a 10 grand bike and above it starts at 10 so do you think that we would get the throttle mapping on and I'm in standard I'm not even in sport so hmm interesting I, I would want it to be a little better. I remember the Hornet was just a hair snatchy too with the on-off. Okay, now we're going back up to 50. Let me put it in third. It's, it's a little better in third gear. I do like that sound though. Listen to that. <laughs> so in town, the only thing I can complain about is the on-off throttle. It's just a hair abrupt, but I'm, I'm splitting hairs here, guys. I guess I would get used to that. Coming up to the controls, looks just like the Hornet and mm, not quite the Africa Twin level of complication there, but simple. You can change your modes here just by doing that. Yeah, you can see it there going back and forth. Gravel, user, sports, standard, rain. So let's go. Well, I was on sport coming in here. I'm on gravel right now getting to this. <laughs> And then you can adjust the power it, uh, has four level engine braking three level traction control five levels and ABS two levels. I am liking this uh, five inch TFT just like on the Hornet. Looks pretty good. I am happy with that. 
I could read everything even without my reading glasses. And you guys know with 5 inch TFTs it's really a hit and a miss for me with my bad eyes. Yeah, I know, I need, the, I need to get glasses or contacts soon. The older I get, the more I need it. Now, overall, hmm, yeah, that's a good question, overall. It looks like Honda was trying to hit the middle ground here between your budget bikes and your top tier performance. And of course, with that, you get your money too like your BMWs, your Triumphs, and KTMs, for example, versus the other Japanese bikes. And they've kind of hit this middle ground, well, except for Suzuki isn't really in that price point that with this one this year, they've moved it over to this side. Uh, does it compete with the Tenere? Yes. With the Versus 650? Yes. Uh, yeah, I would take this over those. Now, once you start going beyond that, there's 15 bikes guys take your pick take them for a test ride go by looks you're gonna be happy with any one of these and I am happy with this bike this bike the motor makes this bike sing and sound so good Honda you nailed it with that sound and also this 755 cc motor shorter stroke than most of the other parallel twins in this group too Nailed it. I, I am liking it. I didn't think I would. I liked it on the Hornet though, and I like it on this. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. As always, guys, ride safe. That's what's most important on the list. And number two, guys, ride like there's nothing to prove. Take care. Cheers.